Good morning, my little coffee beans, and welcome to Madeline's Life Management. Today, I'm going to be talking about my experience of being a bride and a few tips and tricks that I learned along the way. So the first thing I would say is actually something to the general public, and it's something that I started doing after my wedding. And that is whenever you go to a wedding, go ahead and write on the card or the gift no thank you necessary. And I know some people really enjoy thank yous, and if you do, then obviously don't put that on the card. But for myself, I don't really care if I get a thank you or not. I just kind of throw them away. And I know it was really helpful when we saw um, some that said no thank you necessary that we didn't have to then write a thank you note which saved you know, a little bit of carpal tunnel in the long run. <laughs> have priorities. For me, the people were my number one priority. So I obviously didn't want to be a bridezilla. I didn't want to do anything that I would regret later on. And I knew if I just was stress-free and got married, obviously, <laughs> I wouldn't have any regrets. Something my father-in-law said after our wedding, he said this is something that he learned from a friend. And that is as the father of the groom, no matter what they say, say, it's perfect. And he said, if you go through that saying everything, you know, that's perfect. Then in the end, you know, it will be. And being his daughter-in-law, I mean, that meant the world to me. I would say have a list of your priorities to keep yourself in check, especially uh, because weddings can get quite expensive. <laughs> so you need to know what you're willing to spend money on and maybe what you're willing to cut out. The people were a priority. I wanted all the people that, you know, I really enjoy and wanted to surround myself with and I was willing to maybe cut out decorations we didn't have any like flowers on the table or anything the cake was also very important to me because I don't know about you but I go to weddings for the cake something my photographer told me at the time was to enjoy every moment people say that it just goes by so quickly and so I, I really did you know take the time to stop and enjoy the moment and honestly I just wanted to be married <laughs> and so um it, it really was so incredible, but it, it was also so surreal because I remember going down the aisle and, you know, I was there with, with my now husband and we were standing in front of the pastor and I just remember thinking, oh my goodness, we are so close to Pastor Brian right now. There's a distance that's comfortable for people and I remember thinking, this is quite close. I'm going to take a sip of coffee. Don't stop working on your relationship. I think it's really important to steal a few moments away, even if it's a car drive from here to there, just to be alone and get excited with each other and talk about what you're excited about and your hopes and dreams. So yeah, take the time to make out. This is one of the best pieces of advice I can give you, and that is doing a hair and makeup run through. I ended up doing my own makeup for my wedding, and I really, really loved it, and I had the most incredible hairstylist do my hair. Now, I did have a makeup run through somewhere else, and I kid you not, the lady made me look worse with makeup than I did without. Make sure and do a run through because I could have easily just booked her for my wedding day and been like, it'll be fine, do a run through. And a great piece of advice that I actually used was have the same person do your hair and makeup for your engagement photos as for your wedding because then you know how the photos are gonna look on your wedding day. Be the opposite of a bridezilla. They're like, it's your day. I'm like, no, it's not. If anything, it's like, it's the bride and the groom equally. But if you're a Christian, which we are, it's like God honoring also. How to generate happy feelings is by being grateful. And I just remember sitting in the car and almost getting teary eyed at how thankful I was that I was uh, marrying into such an incredible family and that my grandma was able to be there with my dress and the fact that my mom was spending this money on my dress. and. When you go into it like that, you it's impossible to be a bridezilla. It's impossible to be like, eh, my arms look fat, or like, you know, it's impossible to make people feel like they're not wanted or to make fun of someone's opinion. I wouldn't regret not having certain flowers. I wouldn't regret having my hair look weird or my makeup look weird, but I know that I would regret being harsh or mean to someone. Here are just a few of my most potent tips and tricks that are have stuck in my mind. It's been, you know, a few months and I feel like I can kind of look back and think, okay, that was important to me or that wasn't important. Right after you get a gift, write a thank you note. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.